on the holes in my shoes. I stick my tongue in the holes in my teeth. I stick expletives in the holes in my thought process when I speak. My friends stick to their guns, they got a bunch in the woods of Vermont till the end time come. But Saturn says he's gonna learn to live as if the world wasn't gonna end and I admire his strength. So today I'm gonna do my best to drink coffee in the morning and live as if I didn't feel lonely and hopeless and helpless to save myself for the world where I live. Fuck it. 
follow. Um, man, I am tired. I am fucking tired. I slept like four hours, maybe, maybe, and had to get up and do shit. Oh, fuck me. Um, I do, uh, I do want to name check this fucker real quick though. Um, I'm not going to save this for fucking Popo's Bizarre Adventures. I may, I may touch back on it, but top of the show. Let's fucking do this. Okay. Uh, the, um, former union president for the Boston Police Department. (laughs) <laughs> 33 charges in connection with the rape and abuse of six children uh, over a three decade span. Those are the ones that we can prove and know about. And, and, and best part, best part, the internal investigations department and uh, the internal investigators found sufficient evidence to support allegations of him raping a, a child in 1996. 1996. They've been covering up for this motherfucker since 96. Only now. Are they fucking put, putting him away? And by the way, if you're like, you know, hey, uh, fucking how long are they putting him away for? Oh, well, congratulations. He was sentenced for he was sentenced to 10 to 13 years plus 10 years probation for 33 charges in connection with the rape and abuse over six children over three decades. He's getting 13 years max in in prison so i mean i guess the lesson of the day is if you want to rape kids be a cop because you're gonna get a fucking slap on the wrist basically dude if you uh if you um if even if for your own consumption say um say michigan if you manufacture methamphetamine for your own consumption not even sales and distribution you're facing 45 years in prison uh, for uh, methamphetamine, methamphetamine manufacturer in Michigan, or if you hop over to fucking Boston, you could rape six kids over three decades, and you get thirteen years max, and you know, with a kicker of maybe ten years probation. So there you go. Fucking. Uh. <sighs> We'll revisit it next Monday when we do Popo's Bizarre Adventures, I'm sure. Um, by the way, the uh, piece of shit's name is Patrick Rose. He was, you know, he was a cop and the, the president of the Boston Patrolmen's Association, the, the fraternal order of police in Boston. Oh, uh, I swear to God. So... So, you see what everybody see what Twitch is doing? Uh, Twitch is Twitch is definitely um, definitely gonna be uh, responsible uh, gonna be uh, responsible during this period of corporate greed. They they most assuredly aren't going to follow suit. Oh wait, no what? No, they are. Oh, they're 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 slashing. Uh, they're going to um, they're going to have more ads. A lower revenue split, more tiers. They're going to get rid of exclusivity, apparently. Um, Yeah. So, if it wasn't already um, reason enough to, like, you know, exclamation sub command. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, I did want to show this motherfucker. I did want to show this. is going to be a short stream tonight, guys. I, I, I already know it. I already know it. Um, so. Ex, uh, um, Ohio State Senator. Um, I don't even know this fucking douchebag's name, to be perfectly honest. Hang on. Let me find this douchebag's name. Um, Andrew Brenner. 
a Republican. Of course. Um, Andrew Brenner is busy uh, taking a Zoom call. He's participating in a Zoom call about um, it is it is a debate. Well, a debate. It is a discussion as to the nature of a bill for harsher penalties uh, for distracted driving. Hey, this is Ohio State Senate. Uh, uh, this is Ohio State Senator fucking uh, Andrew Brenner uh, on a Zoom call debating uh, a bill for harsher penalties for distracted driving. See, see if you can put your finger on what's going on here. Anybody catch it? It's real subtle. It's real subtle. This motherfucker's out driving. Yeah. So, you know, that. Oh. Mm. And another, another brilliant one. Um, I swear to God. So, this is the president of a local school board in Ohio, uh, John Gray. He was serving his fifth term as president of the Goshen Local School Board in Goshen, Ohio. Um, let's just let's get a picture of this guy. Here he is. He's, um, <clears throat> he, um, he's probably not going to be around, uh, much, um, seeing as he was caught attempting to meet with what he thought was an 11 year old girl after exchanging sexually inappropriate messages with her. So yeah, uh, chalk up another one for the uh, grand old pedos or gross old pedos list. Um, yeah. School board president. Trying to bang an 11 year old. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> and, oh yeah. Where was it? This one. I wanted to mention this. Family values. Trademark. Um, let's see. Suburban Kansas City, uh, Missouri. Um, Grain Valley, Missouri. Uh, gra uh, officials of the Grain Valley High School have told, uh, emailed families and uh, on Monday saying that the school board has directed administrators to remove cards or stickers that may read safe space for all or any stickers that uh, uh, or any cards or stickers that show they are allies of LGBTQ students. Any support, uh, any stickers, cards or banners otherwise supporting LGBTQ uh, uh, initiatives will be uh, are removed. Um, the directive came after the members received a concern about the cards and stickers. And the email said the district remains committed to helping create a safe and inclusive environment. But the cards, stickers, and banners are not appropriate at this time. So, Missouri, if you're keeping track, Missouri. Um, told you, it's gonna get worse, despite what Vosh thinks. Um, and here you go. Here is the absolute most cursed shit I saw recently. Apparently, they're making cereal just for mixing with uh, orange juice now because diabetes apparently wasn't rampant enough in our country. We needed more. So go ahead and um, pour some liquid sugar on your, uh, on your, uh, you know, crystal sugar. 
but apparently they're making cereal literally designed to be uh, used with orange juice. I, I am in the camp of disgusting as well, but you know, is what it is, right? Um, and look, I'm sure this is nothing. Don't read too much into it. Um, you know. Um, he supplied uh, uh, investigative journalist Scott Stedman of the forensic uh, website Forensic News um, has, has straight up said that um, the individual Brock Schmidt. Brock Schmidt um, he suppl quote supplied me and other journalists with Deutsche Bank documents that highlighted the bank's deep Russian connections. Um, so you know that. I'm sure you know. Don't don't read into it too much. I guess. Um. Meet Freshies, new virtual cashier who works from Nicaragua for $3.75 an hour. Uh, apparently, this is Canada, by the way. So, congratulations, Canada. Welcome to, welcome to the dystopia. Doing, doing well. Doing well, I see. One sock. Jesus Christ. How many? Two, four, six. Seven. I wasn't here in the US. I was in Walmart the other day and had entirely self checks, no cashier in the whole store. Dude, I'm always reminded of Bill Burr's bit about how, like, I'm just gonna be rolling hams out the front door then if that's how you do this. If you're gonna automate everything, I'm just gonna take advantage of it. I mean, okay. Not exactly my current news. Um, call me ignorant, but what would a virtual cashier even do? I, I you know, a lot of. I bet you could tie it into the the point of sale system so that like they can, um, they can control something. But yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, it's really just a talking head. They don't really do anything, do they? I mean, you just walked into a room full of anarchists. I don't like the fucking president to start with. The whole fucking system's fucked as far as I'm concerned. Burn it to the ground and start from scratch. What? Um, going to be hilarious when the system goes down, all their cashiers are kicked. I know, right? One, one internet connection hiccup and you're fucking, all of your cashiers are borked. Fuck you. Uh, 
How about you ask nicely? How about you behave like a normal human being behaves when they interact with other people, despite the fact that it's online? Fucking. So anyway, back to what I was doing. Um. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, the Russian burning photos. Um. Oh, we weren't on the air when that happened. Um, Matt, good old fucking Cawthorn being um, caught bringing the loaded gun through. We did look at the uh, the the lingerie photos, though. I remember. It looks good in the lingerie. Admittedly, it's a good look for him. Oh, uh, but yeah. Kaiser, I agree. <laughs> I mean, it's there's no way around that. Like, it's a solid look for the dude. Um, like, I wish he'd fucking pull his head out of his ass, and you know, he could be he, he look, he likes to party. He fucking he's down with the like the hookers and the cocaine, right? He's down with like dressing up in lingerie and getting fucking twisted and shit. Like, he seems like it'd be an interesting dude to party with if he wasn't all up in his head about all that other shit. If he wasn't such a fucking, you know, douchebag conservative. Um, he's too busy getting that GOP money. Hey, fucking got to do it, man. You got to do it, apparently. Um, let's see. We went through that, the cult shit last night. Fucking done, 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 and done. All right, cool. I think that that's... What I uh, wanted to talk about, and we did talk about the fact that the EC, uh, the ECB is going to be regulating crypto as a fucking Ponzi scheme, which is hilarious. Um, and I don't think I was on the air when I mentioned this to you guys. I think I was on a VC with a uh, few people. Um, Tommy Laren uh, apparently was at the University of Tennessee and experienced a new leftist tactic um, of course, leftists at UT is a whole fucking thing. Um, European Central Bank, me, to, uh, me toad. Um, so she, she, this is the direct quote. I'm just going to read you the direct quote. This is, this is, this is what Tommy Laren is, um, literally, um, We're going to have to have a talk about that. That wasn't handled the way I'd like that to be handled. Um, quote, <clears throat> these liberal freaks on campuses are now gorging themselves on watermelon and refried beans in an attempt to barf on conservative speakers. I, I got nothing for you. This is what Tommy Lahren is claiming that leftists are doing. Leftist activists, at least on the cam uh, University of Tennessee campus, are doing. I, me too. That was my initial thought. Was the watermelon and the refried beans seems spe ethnically specific? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's not a good look, man. Um, yeah, the the watermelon and the refried beans just seemed oddly ethnically specific, given Tommy Laren and shit like that. Um, so <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Um, the 
Oh, yeah. Um, the fucking Stanford hospital system. All the, the nurses are basically on strike. Um, here. Five thousand nurses. Five thousand nurses within the Stanford hospital system are now on strike. They are claiming they are overworked, underpaid, underappreciated, and just generally being taken advantage of by a for-profit healthcare system. So, they're working the lines now. I wish them luck. That's your healthcare place in Palo Alto. <clears throat> a perfect, a perfectly white name. Um, fucking a. So, I mean, you know, it's it has to happen one way or the other. There's got to be changes, and the only way you're gonna get them is probably That's okay. probably collective action. Um. Oh yes, this one. This is not c fucking crazy at all. Um. So Oklahoma GOP Chair John Bennett. He's running for Congress uh, at present. He's a he's a GOP congressional candidate. Um. He was at uh he was at a one of his um fund fundraising rally events. Um, <clears throat> I will read you what he said to applause and cheers. We're fighting communist Democrats, establishment rhinos. We're fighting against a system that stole the election in 2020 and nobody had been held accountable. We're in a war with bureaucrats that have forced vaccine mandates on us, mask mandates on us. Um... He, I, I don't have the full quote, but he then railed against something he described as wokeness confusion. Um, and, and by the way, we should try Anthony Fauci and put him in front of a firing squad. And for the Secret Service, if they're listening, I'm not advocating we kill Anthony Fauci unless he's convicted of his crimes through a court. So, you know, that, that's a thing. I want to tell you. I love a good war rhetoric. <laughs> Oh, that's really, really all I have. I what did you talk about? Hmm. Um. Ah. Okay. So the L.A. County Sheriff is uh, has announced that he won't be um, pursuing criminal charges against the journalist that um, wrote about the uh, uh, the uh, the cover up involving, I believe. Um, hold on. I believe it's the gang cover ups, the, the like in in department gangs. Um, yes. Yeah, it's the police gangs of L.A. Um, so the reporter who uh, fucking uh, Aline, oh, I can't even, T-C-H-E-K-M-E-D-Y-A-N. Um, either way, 
Um, she uh, she was going. She was under investigation, and the sheriff, uh, the county sheriff, had said that like he might be pursuing charges against the journalist who broke the story uh, uh, about like uh, inmate abuse and sheriff deputies and all that sort of being in a gang and all that sort of shit. Um, he's he's walking that back as fast as he possibly can now. Um, he said, at no time today did I state an L.A. Times reporter was a suspect in a criminal investigation, even though he did. Um, he responded that all parties were subject to an investigation. Um, so. Just saying. Seems like he stepped in it on that one. Um, and um, good news, everyone. Actual good news. Uh, Boeing lost $1.1 billion on the Trump Air Force One de- uh, contract. They had a deal to modify two 747 jumbo jets to serve as Air Force One. Um, <clears throat> CEO Dave Calhoun um, has literally said, uh, Boeing has said, we probably shouldn't have taken it, taken the deal. Um they reported a net loss of $1.2 billion for the first quarter, <laughs> $660 million of which is directly re- uh, related to delays and higher costs for the Air Force One program. So, you know, for once, for once, it's them taking it on the chin, not us. I know, right? Right, Kaiser? Right? Oh. oh, let's see. Finland says it's going to join NATO without, uh, with or without Sweden. Apparently Sweden's dragging their heels a little bit. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, really? Russian state TV hosts discuss the possibility of a war with uh, that expands outside uh, Ukraine on Tuesday. And Margarita Simonian, journalist and head of RT, told viewers that a nuclear war would be okay because we're all going to die someday. Uh... Tory front bencher caught watching porn in House of Commons. I mean, you know. It's probably better than doing what ha- oh, what the fuck they were they were going to do anyway. Oh, dude, caboose Russians are infamously bad at that sort of thing. They're really really bad. Probably a straight Kremlin note beast knowing these idiots. And apparently Marjorie Taylor Greene has been rambling on about Christians who help resettle undocumented immigrants and refugees. Apparently, uh, she now believes that they are controlled by the devil. Um... Oh, what it is, is Satan's controlling the church. The church is not doing its job and it's not adhering to the teachings of Christ. You shall not wrong or oppress a resident alien, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. Exodus 22:21. Deuteronomy 24:14-15. You shall not oppress a hired worker who is poor and needy, whether he is one of your brothers or a foreigner residing in your cities. You will pay his wages on that day before the sun sets. For he is poor and needs the money, lest he cry out against you to the Lord and you are guilty of sin. Deuteronomy 1.16 Give the members of your community a fair hearing and judge rightly between one person and another, whether, whether citizen or alien. Leviticus 19.34 
The alien who resides with you shall be you, uh, be to you as the citizen among you. You shall love the foreigner as yourself, for you were foreign in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Deuteronomy twenty-seven nineteen. Cursed is anyone who withholds justice from the foreigner, the fatherless, or the widow. Zechariah seven nine to eleven. This is what the Lord Almighty said: Administer true justice, show mercy and compassion to one another. Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the foreigner or the poor. Do not plot evil against one another. So anyway, Marjorie, back to your teachings. It's not adhering to what the word of God says we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to live. Um, <laughs> apparently the constitution takes precedence over the Bible. We're supposed to love one another, but their definition of what love one another means, means destroying our laws. It means completely perverting what our constitution says. So the constitution take pre- takes precedence over the Bible as far as Marjorie Taylor Greene goes. Just so we have our order, so we know what our hierarchy looks like. Um, it means pushing a globalist policy on the American people and forcing to America to become something we're not. Uh, oh, she is, she is, she's all kind of special. She's all kinds of special. For 24 7 Stargate Channel on Pluto TV. Mm, interesting. Yeah, if the devil is possessed by dad to make him repair poor people's homes, I'm chill with that. <laughs> she's still trying to be the worst person of the year? I mean, she's got, a, she's got stiff competition. Marjorie Taylor Greene has stiff fucking competition if that's what she's going for. I am, I am. Crime thing stu- stuff. Uh, contradictionary and some swag and a little handwritten note and some f- a photo that they took and some pins and some stickers and shit that they, they sent along. And of course, the inevitable pamphlet because what are anarchists without pamphlets, right? Um. Seriously. That's amazing. All right. First off, there's two things here I want to, I just saw. All right. <laughs> uh, hey, Britain. Why is everything you do just goofy? Like, why do your fucking cop vehicles all have that stupid siren? This is in that same camp of like, why is everything the UK does lame? Like, wh- how is this? How are you guys this lame? Look, I'm I'm not defending our cops. I'm just saying, Jesus Christ, y'all are y'all just are lame. Like, seriously? Fuck me, man. It's just... (laughs) It was seized under Section 165 of the Road Traffic Act. Apparently, according to eyewitnesses on the scene, a youngster and another six-year-old child, this is the quote, were riding the quad bike, um, more on that in a second, uh, near a greenway near Tunstall Park, wherever this is. And the cops, somebody dialed 999, so you have your Karen, and then the cops fucking show up and they seized the the quad bike under section 165 of the road traffic act and 
one of the people on the scene said, quote, I saw these in Tunstall on this quad and it barely went faster than I can walk. Staffordshire police need to get a grip instead of making themselves look like a joke. Another person on the scene, they could have just said, sorry, it's not allowed here. Take it home. But here's a list of places you could use it. Another person on the scene. This is a complete joke. There's no words for this. I bet the police were all well chuffed. If another person on the scene, instead of taking their pride and joy away, go find some real criminals. Waste of taxpayers' money as, uh, <laughs> as usual. Another person at the scene, fucking how ridiculous. Like they've not got anything else to do. You ring 999 and it takes them three hours to come out. But and now we know what they're doing. They're too busy taking quads from two-year-olds. <laughs> Oh, oh, God, that's sad. Um, you were already a police state. Like, I don't. So you guys have just one more wall. Like, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but like, did you think you were like, an anarchist like play, play, uh, playground or some shit. Like this is just another fucking chunk taken away. Um. Now, the thing that really made me chuckle, <clears throat> there was two things I saw simultaneously. Um. It is Kaiser. It's it's fucking lame as shit. Um, Rev, I think so. I mean, it's what it would mean over here. So, I live in Ancapistan. We know that. I live in Las Vegas, right? Vegas doesn't give two shits. Vegas doesn't give two shits. Do you have money? Cool. You're welcome here. Vegas doesn't get involved. That's we have a very neutral position when it comes to getting involved. Like we're Switzerland up in this bitch. We're going to profit from it. And you better believe we don't mind profiting from evil, but we don't give a shit. When people get all fucking like twit, get their panties in a bunch and shit. Vegas is like, eh, whatever. So Vegas has officially started moving in on Florida for real. We, we are, uh, our convention center and tourist authority is officially spinning up ad campaigns to take advantage of uh, Florida's uh, anti-LGBTQ stance. We are, literally, here, here's, the, here's the quote, all right? In addition to the local consequences, the bill is also likely to cut Florida's $97 billion tourism industry. According to market research conducted on behalf of Visit Florida, the state's official tourism marketing corporation, approximately 4 million LGBTQ tourists visit Florida each year, representing more than $3 billion in annual revenue. This is where Vegas enters the scene. Like, sorry, how much? Okay, we're paying attention. Given societal shifts in the support and perception of LGBTQ people, sympathetic individuals and companies devoted to equality may choose to join their LGBTQ friends in sending their money and their valuable conventions to places other than Florida, all of which benefits Las Vegas. Moreover, as recent events in North Carolina and Georgia demonstrated, long-term tourism boycotts can grow over time, leading to canceled sports tournaments, relocated concerts and events, and even general prohibitions on the use of government funds for travel, lodging, conference fees within the boycotted states if large scale this is this is this is where vegas like literally enters the fray if large scale events are canceled florida's losses will go far beyond lgbtq people and their allies fortunately florida's loss is our gain while las vegas is one of the world's premier locations for entertain entertainment nightlife food art culture and even outdoor recreation there's no question that florida is among our greatest competitors for tourism dollars but with a welcoming non-discriminatory atmosphere las vegas stands to gain the most in the competition for potentially tens of billions of dollars in annual tourism revenue <laughs> making its exodus from florida 
and into our local state, a local and state economy. And that could just be the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so while we join with LGBTQ and youth advocates around the world in condemning Florida Republicans don't say gay bill and join in the global chorus of voices reminding LGBTQ children that they are not alone, we also send wholehearted thank yous to DeSantis and the Florida Republicans for what is likely to be their multi-billion dollar gift to Las Vegas, paid for on the backs of Florida taxpayers. This is the Las Vegas Sun. <laughs> Vegas has officially entered the conversation now. We're like, um, how much y'all talking about? We ain't got a problem with queers. Come on with them. I, this, oh yeah. Oh no, we're, yeah, those cheeky fucks. I love it. Yeah, no, we're all over it. Our convention center and, tu uh, and uh, tourism authority is officially on this one. They're like, there's billions of dollars to be made here. Fuck them. Vegas is officially ready to throw uh, Florida right under the bus. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird living here. It's weird living here, but it is hilarious. We are like, strangely enough, one of the most progressive locations to live. Like, uh, like I've said before, like you, dude, you can't, you can't get any social change done here, but the social change that exists here, or the, the progressivist, uh, progressivism that exists here, it, it exists here, right? Like I've, I've said before, we are one of the only places in this country that our Medicaid program, the lowest of the low, but like the brokest of the broke, no job, homeless, you can get Medicaid, right? Um, our Medicaid program supports, uh, um, um, uh, has gender affirming surgery and hormone treatment. You can get your testosterone here. You can get your estrogen here. You can get your snip, nip and tuck here. You can get your vaginoplasty here. You can get your whatever. You can get all of your like gender affirming surgery here on the, on the taxpayer dime. We're one of the few locations in the world that does that sort of shit. Um, Vegas, when I say Vegas, I mean Nevada, basically Vegas runs Nevada, Vegas runs Nevada. Um, and so like, yeah, we don't, it's, it's strange living here. Like don't, don't be protesting on the strip, but at the same time, fucking yeah, we'll hook you up. I'll take the dry heat over the humid heat. It's, it's a wash. Past 115 degrees left, it doesn't matter. That's 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 the thing that nobody ever seems to comprehend. Is like once you're in like 115, 120 degrees, doesn't matter if it's dry or wet. You're fucked. <clears throat> Stay inside. Air conditioning. <laughs> Unless you're in California. Then above 90 is too much. Uh, or, uh, yes, Californians are weak or, um, lower than what? 80 degrees. Anything lower than 80 is time for like a starter jacket and anything over 90 is just don't ever go outside. Oh, but yeah, I absolutely adore that. That Vegas is like, <laughs> Vegas is officially like, and has, you know, Florida's out there. Don't say gay. Don't say gay. Vegas has officially entered the conversation. <laughs> Vegas has entered chat, right? Like Vegas has entered chat. Like, <clears throat> what y'all doing? No. Shooting yourselves in the foot, tourism wise. Interesting, interesting. Well, here's another gun. Here's some ammo and a ma uh, freshly loaded magazine. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna leave this here for you, Florida. Um, everybody else who doesn't want to be collateral damage, we're going to be over in Vegas where we don't mind if you're queer. In fact, your queer bucks are worth two to one dollars. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll run some deals like that. Dude, we'll run some deals like that. You better goddamn believe it. What happens in Florida stays in Vegas. Exactly. Fucking... Uh, my old fencing instructor went to Vegas once and the ground melted his shoe. No, that's a very real thing that can happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing that happens here. There's it, it's, it's hot. Like it's a different kind of hot people. Like, people don't understand it until they do it. And then it's like, you know, yeah. 
You, you, there's, it can get so hot and windy that you don't even notice you're sweating because the, 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 it wicks the water off of you near immediately. It just dries instantly. You're, you're constantly sweating, and you have no idea you're even con- just constantly sweating. It's a weird phenomenon. It hurts to breathe it in. Like, that they, that the air is hot to your lungs. Like, it hurts to breathe. There, there it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But this place is, is wacky as shit, man. And I love that Vegas has officially thrown the gauntlet down. And they're like, bring it, Florida. What? What? We'll take their money. Oh, that's just, <laughs> oh, you're making me miss Arizona. Says so oh, I would not miss that. I mean, see, that's the thing. The fire season. The only, the only thing I wouldn't want from where you live, Caboose, is the fire season. The fire season, especially with, you know, climate change. Oof. Yeah, uh, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, there's a lot of places that are going to get to experience some Vegas-style heat soon. Keep it up, humanity. Y'all really doing a bang-up job these days. <laughs> be a good one. I blame gender reveal. Uh, I blame gender reveal parties for the fires of public. They seem to be tied to a lot of them. It's always it's public. It's actually the the electrical company more than off, more often than not. Y'all gotta y'all gotta fix some of your fucking power companies out there. fire season eight weeks of constant dread yeah I, i'm not i'm not in for that caboose that's a fucking i don't need that kind of nightmare oh i can't wait to see our tourism our tourism push we're gonna run a pro we're gonna run a campaign vegas always runs a dude our tourism bureau is very well funded let's just put it that way there's gonna be a vegas lgbt push like ad push here come weeks months i don't know but we're gonna run one and it will be funny as fuck when we do <laughs> oh good old pg e starts fires in the summer goes out in the winter and it's and if it's slightly breezy we'll shut the power off mm-hmm Public. For sure. Um, cool. Oh, no. Damn it. There we go. Uh, public said the funny thing my electric company is one of the closest in the country to being a co op. Everyone complains when 100 people lose power for three hours. Meanwhile, silence when PGE at uh, PGE cuts out, um, cuts off thousands for four days in rural areas with bad phone connections in the middle of a cold winter. Um, well, have you considered being a multi-billion dollar entity that has the tax, uh, has the uh, state legislators in their pocket? Seems to go a long way. Um, chapstick. Uh... Let's see. We talked about him. We talked about him. Don't care. Don't care. Question. Y'all, do you think uh, $400 a month is enough to expect a spotless home every month? I'm at a wall of, do you think you're paying for professional cleaners or maids to keep your home tidy? Something you you can do as a family decently well. Um... Now, four hundred dollars a month is enough to clean it probably once properly per month. Not keep it clean the entirety of the month. 
four hundred dollars I would expect to pay for like a good house cleaning. Just like come in, clean shit, leave. Not a month's worth of service. No, that doesn't seem balanced. Yeah, if y'all are if if they're paying, yeah, four hundred a week, right? Like that's that's four. She gets it cleaned four times a month for four hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars a week. Somebody's somebody doesn't understand their billing, or somebody doesn't understand. Dude, there's 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 there's, there's a disparity here. There's a disparity there. Somebody's billing out not enough or over promising. I, I don't I don't know where the disparity is happening, whether it's happening at the billing business side or whether it's happening at the customer side, but there's a disparity occurring there. Somebody is expecting way too much for way too little, or somebody is over promising for way too little. Either way, it doesn't that doesn't line up. $400 a month cleaned four times, $100 per service for the entirety of the house. How many rooms are we talking about? That's, dude, that's that's just, just not enough. That's just not, how many, how many staff, how many rooms, four times a month? Because the math on this just doesn't work out in my head. Like, labor costs aren't being covered. Let alone supply costs. God damn. Kids really are fucking psychopaths. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Marcus, maybe. Like a one bedroom, 800 square foot apartment, maybe. But something something doesn't line up on those costs. So, Jesus, goddamn Christ. Kids really are fucking psychopaths. Like they're, they're just little animals that we haven't housebroken yet. I, Jesus, goddamn Christ! <sighs> two maids, three, uh, two, three bathrooms, one kitchen, four bedrooms, two living rooms. Uh, wait, you, you kitchen and two dining spaces. Wait, are there two kitchens? Or one, it doesn't matter. Four bedrooms, three baths, two two living rooms. Um, yeah, two people. I mean, I'm okay with the skinning and each other with box cutters. Public, it's it's the fire, it's the burns. That's just that's crossing the line. Look, boys want to skin each other with fucking box cutters. That's boys will be boys, but you know, flaming tennis balls to the face. That's just too much. Um, fucking yeah, that's that's entirely too low of a price. So, and you only get an hour and a half of each week. I, yeah. No. No, Karina, that that's just it's just wrong. Uh Oh god, another one. We'll save that one for Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Um Don't care. Oh, no, 
what that says. Mm. Oh, look, most senators still oppose legalizing ca uh, cannabis. Who would have guessed? And here it, it has begun. It has begun. Disney's self-governing special district, the Reedy Creek Improvement District, has said Florida's move to dissolve the district next year isn't legal unless the state pays off Reedy Creek's extensive debts. Dude, you're looking at a billion dollar outstanding bond. Billion dollar outstanding bond. They're going to have to pay it off. This I've seen this kicked around a bunch of times. This is, this is, they can't just dissolve this. This is, will cost the taxpayers a billion dollar payout to, to do what they want to do. So. Um, because, um, the 1967 law caboose, um, he doesn't have that kind of money. Nah. He doesn't he doesn't even have he can't even venture capital that kind of money. Um the 1967 law basically uh <clears throat> Includes a pledge from Florida to its bondholders. The, the the law specifically states that Florida will not in any way impair the rights or remedies of the holders until all such bonds together with interest thereon and all costs and expenses in connection with any act or proceeding by or on behalf of such holders are fully met and discharged. So... Either <clears throat> it needs to collect all ad valorem taxes, it needs to collect its utility revenues, it needs to pay, <clears throat> they need to pay the debt service on those tax bonds and utility revenue bonds, complying with the bond covenants and operating and maintaining its properties. It's that simple. So... Should be interesting. Disney, fuck you, pay me. Yeah, I really like the, I like that one dude's tweet. <clears throat> he said Disney. Um, Disney's not going to send any money to send uh, to, uh, to uh, Disney's not going to spend any moving mo uh, spend any money moving out of Orlando, but they will spend a lot of money moving DeSantis out of Tallahassee. Dude. <clears throat> I, I would not want to... I mean, Jesus Christ, it's the Disney Corporation. Like, dude, they don't fuck around. <laughs> it's the goddamn Disney Corporation. I mean, exactly, Kaiser. Like, I, I, would, <laughs> I mean, if I were betting, if I were betting, my money's going on Disney, not DeSantis. It'd be safer going against the federal government than Disney. I mean, in many instances, it actually is. What's up, Fuzzy? In many instances, it actually is. So, yeah. Um, let's see. That's it. Uh, oh, look, a fucking Massachusetts corrections officer is arrested in connection with the 1988 murder of an 11 year old girl. Who would have guessed? <clears throat> Jesus. Here's how Ron DeSantis and Florida Republicans just violated Disney's civil rights. Oh my God.
Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God. Constitutional law specialist at UCLA School of Law. Adam Winkler, author of We the Corporations, How American Business Won Them Their Civil Rights. Quote, It is a violation of the First Amendment for the government to punish a corporation because of the company's expressed viewpoints on political issues. This is, this is, this is Citizens United. This is Citizens United. This is Citizens United. This is, this, this, this is what, this is what this is about. We've been extending civil rights to corporations over the last century. And the long and short of it is Disney expressed a pro, uh, a, a stance, a political stance, and they're being punished by the, by the federal, uh, by the state government for it. That's a civil rights violation. If Citizens United gets overturned because Republicans are pissed at Disney for being pro-queer, I'm going to laugh my ass off. You should put it that way. I'm going to laugh my ass off. Yep, make them follow their own laws. You know, Kaizu, this is a win-win no matter what. This is, dude, two, two, two of our enemies are fighting each other. Let them fight. It's going to be hilarious. Uh, no, we don't need it, but basically Citizens United is the Supreme Court ruling, Karina, that allows, uh, that, that formalizes uh, money as speech. Um, Marcus said, I remember someone asked my antitrust professor who were the scariest lawyers outside the Fed when he uh, when he was in private practice. Google, Amazon, and Disney. From a guy regularly cited by the UK Supreme Court on corporate regulation and organization. Yep. Uh, slippers, what you got? Uh, I got in trouble when I was like eight for kicking Mickey Mouse in the shins. That's my only experience with Disneyland. I've never been to Disneyland. I've only been to Disney World. Uh, unlimited money, yes. Yeah, it is uh, terrible, and no, not even a little, says Marcus. Um, yeah, that's kind of hilarious. Florida might argue that Disney doesn't have the right to a special tax privilege that other companies don't receive, but under Supreme Court precedent from 1972, the government can't rescind a privilege once granted for improper reasons, such as retaliation for political speech. And Disney's actions, both its statement and its decision to pause its donations, are protected First Amendment activities. That's hilarious. <laughs> Disney is going to have a civil rights f suit. A viable civil rights suit against fucking Florida. <laughs> oh. That's amazing. I I I can't I that that case can't move forward fast enough. I can't wait to see how that plays out. I mean, they kind of, in Florida, Karina, they kind of are kingmakers. Dude, Disney money is a lot, a lot of money in Florida. Like, real money. Like, real, real money. <clears throat> I think we're on the blooper reel of the American dynasty. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's Nestle fuzzy. Unless I, I've never heard. Yeah, you're thinking Nestle. 
That's not. Who's um, who's current CEO? Current CEO is Eisner still. All right. <clears throat> nope, Chapic. Looks like current CEO is Chap Bob Chapic. Yeah. Um, I mean, Disney said some heinous shit over years. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, that's that's definitely Nestle. Nestle. Um. Wait. Eh, don't care. Um, oh, look, tankies are trying to disprove another massacre. Hmm, who would have guessed? Shocking. Which one's this one? Uh, K Kitian? The K Kitian massacre? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, guys. Um, shock, shock. Um... The post George Floyd probe has found discrimination by the um, Minneapolis Police Department. Shocking, I, I know, I know. Um, but apparently, yeah, according to the report released Wednesday by the Minnesota Depar Department of Human Rights, following a two-year investigation, they um, found that the Minneapolis Police Department engaged in a pattern of race discrimination for at least a decade, including stopping and arresting black people at a higher rate than white people, using force more often than pe um, people of color, and maintaining a culture where racist language is tolerated. Shocking. Yeah, I'm I'm shocked. I I don't. No, I didn't hear about Has versus CPUSA. I mean, CPUSA is a fucking government op and has been since what the '60s. Like that's literally an FBI op. That's not even an exaggeration. Like CPUSA has been a fucking a government op for my entire life. So, no, but I didn't hear about the has versus CPUSA fucking call. I, I value my sanity too much to not uh, to, to listen to has <laughs> quell surprise. Um, oh God, good luck, AJ. Good fucking luck. <laughs> Uh, looks like the Newtown families are asking the judge to dis dismiss uh, Alex Jones's bad faith bankruptcies. I mean, you know. CPUSA it has cops and ops. Um, CPUSA is the Communist Party of the United States of America, Walata, and it's been a f it's been a federal op for, like I said, my my entire life. I, I there's I've I've never not known anybody in the community in anarchist actions anybody who's ever gotten around to direct action who isn't immediately like CPUSA fucking dude they're all FBI like you don't let any of those people near your near your op like they're, they're all feds um so yeah that's 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 a thing. They've been fed since, like I said, I think the sixties. I, I I don't know anything about the Party for Social Liberation. I don't know anything about them. Um. Oh, they can go fuck themselves. 
Mm, some decent points, some really bad points. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, the PSL can go fuck themselves. The PSL denies Tiananmen Square. Um, whether they're an op or not, I don't really care. But the PSL officially uh, defends China's human rights records, denies the premise that the Chinese military massacred student protesters in Tiananmen Square. Um, they deny Xinjiang. They support China's policies towards t Tibet. They support t uh, China's crackdown on Hong Kong. Uh, they call Hong Kong chauvinist and anti-China. Um, the, uh, their stance on North Korea is that the rest of the world treats them unfairly. Um, let's see. Supports Syrian President uh, 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 Assad. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so whether they're an op or not, like they can go fuck themselves. That's the PSL can go fuck themselves as far as I'm concerned. <sighs> I know some people who work for PSL. It's hardcore ML stuff. They're not kind to any non MLs who volunteer. Hmm, who would have guessed MLs being unkind to non MLs? Hmm. Hey, Puka. Their foreign policy takes are all hardline internet ML takes. Hmm. So, yeah. So, fuck them. I, I, that's, that's about all I know about the PSL at this time. But, I mean, knowing that they're basically hardline internet MLs, that's enough for me to discount them entirely. It's okay, Puka. <laughs> That's okay. Um, they were in a call together, like a question and answer session. Basically what happened was he ended up getting trolled so bad that he rage quit. Mm, yeah, I mean. Uh, involving someone trans being asked about gender, and she answered with, well, what do you think of this and the sound of peeing? I mean... I wouldn't rage quit, but be like, I don't need to listen to you piss. Like, that's, that's just, that's a weird, that's a weird place to take it. It's a weird place to take it. It's a weird place to take it. Like, I, <laughs> I want to say that, but like, I, I'd have to hear the, the entirety of the context. Boys. Yeah. But it's has, so I understand fucking with has. I mean, it's, you know, at the end of the day, anything you do to fuck with has is sort of, sort of kosher, really. <clears throat> I need to hear the pissing in full contact. Kai, in the year of our Lord, 2022. What Lord? Fuck Lords. No gods, no masters. <laughs> uh, I believe has is still banned. Is has still banned? I think Haz is still banned, right? Haz is still riding a ban uh, for, um, what, COVID misinformation? I think it was COVID misinformation.
Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Has he has has. Yeah, it happened on um, Cozy.tv. Uh, nonsense. It happened on Cozy.tv, which is Nick Fuentes' platform. Um, so, thought it was Kremlin Ukrainian talking points. I don't fuck it. Dude, Marcus, I don't. Has got banned for saying some stupid shit. There. Uh, Puka, not to make, oof, not to make it about me. It's okay. But I have to say this week has been absolute crap, absolutely crap for me. I'm sorry, Puka. Is there anything we can do? I mean, it's, you know, parasocial, but is there anything we can do? Um, for being a Putin ball, 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 <laughs> I mean, oh, I mean, has has got to get his talking points from somewhere, right, Carpe? It's not like he, um is creative and can come up with his own. Uh, son of Russian oligarch found dead with wife and daughter. Um, uh, oligarch doesn't believe per police's murder suicide theory. Hmm, I wouldn't either. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what has got banned for. I saw a few, few things kicked around. Interesting. Let's look at a piece of shit. In Ireland this time. It's a landlord in Ireland where, like, you know, landlord means something on that side. Like, over here, it's just a fucking, you know, it's the dude who owns your home. Landlord in that part of the world actually means something. Like, it's got historical context to it and shit. Like, some proper feudalism. Bob, you look you look at me, yeah? Bob, you look at me, yeah? What are you looking for? Why, 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 why are you looking for? Why are you looking for me, man? Mm -hmm. Huh? You're getting fucked out that way out through the window. It's all right. It's just time to say it. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's all right. I own her. I big boss. I hardy bastard. You get the fuck out there. But first you pay me for the door you broke. You fucking pay me for the door, man! You understand? Do you fucking understand, you cunt? You understand? You fucking pay me for the door. You understand? I know, yeah. I know. Understand? Do you fucking understand? What part of that you never understand? What's his weapon of choice here? What is that? Just like a pipe? Yeah, yeah. Pipe yeah, iron or something? You are next, by the way. You are fucking next. Go get me money. Come on, it's a witch's dildo. Come on, it's a witch's dildo. Yeah, it looks like some sort of pipe. Right, Karina? Yeah. You go get money, he's gonna break him up that fucking door. You don't need to fight me. We can go. Go get money from some of your friends. Get out. Get up, go get money. Please, I need to take my shoes. To give me my shoes. Get the fuck down, not face with you. I'm pretty fucking right now. You get back none of your stuff. You should come back to a 150. That door's in shit. Cause it's fucking body yours. Yeah, what the fuck? You're fucking about Longo! What are you afraid of? You cowardly bastard! I mean, this isn't Shut extreme. Shut the fuck up! What the fuck? I'm kidding you, cunt! I'm never fucking. You'll be buried up the committee down, you cunt! You understand? Where's the extremely you violent content? When I get to mommy. You get to live, alright? I don't get money, you don't get to live! Take the fuck off your shoes. You fuck. I fucking hate you, man. What the fuck is this in Chicago in the mid 80s? Fuck, he took his shoes. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm, dude, um, apparently we got different standards here. Fucking non-binary. Non Trigger warning for extremely violent content? Like, where's the extremely violent content? I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, the guy was, it was, you know, aggressive and violent, but, I mean, most of us in here are Americans. <laughs> that man took his Tims, right? Like, Dude, that's some, that's some fuck, like shit you do is like a, a fucking middle schooler or some shit. Eh. Um, 
Someone heard the audio of Johnny Depp slamming cabinets in your stream and called it disturbing. Jesus Christ, people are soft. Um, landlord being a landlord. Yeah, dude, I see more violent shit walk into the corner stores as well. Like, yeah, like, I, I was waiting. It was like, oh, shit, do I need to, like, but, yeah. And we automatically think it's kind of cute anyway because he says it with a goofy leprechaun accent. He sounds, to us, we, like, all, all an American brain is thinking, like, is, like, oh, shit, watch out for his lucky charms. Dude, that's just fucking stars and rainbows and blue moons. Like, that's that's all we're fucking, we're hearing, just we're hearing fucking Lucky charm shit in the back of our head. We're like, fucking, what's the, <laughs> oh shit, it's a Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah, right? Cruel, but true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was waiting for some shit to snap off. <laughs> yeah, the violence is the landlord's existence. Exactly, Fuzzy. Yeah, exactly. Well, the violent part is just that dude existing. Uh, <laughs> my lucky charms! Uh... Jesus Christ. Y'all want to see a comic Matt Groening drew in 1995? Signed and everything. Dude, this is... Dude, holy shit. Matt Groening, creator of Simpsons. Okay? Um, fucking did this, did this comic in 1995, apparently. Why does America hate its kids? Our schools are falling apart. The classrooms are overcrowded and the teachers are underpaid. We have to learn from textbooks censored so as to not offend the, the grimmest right-wing Christian sensibilities. And educational funding keeps getting cut. What's the logic behind cutting school breakfast programs for the poor or cutting aid to kids with disabilities? Kids are, growing, uh, are going to grow up, you know. Why aren't we planning for the future? Don't worry. By the time you and your little buddies drop out of high school, we'll have your prison cells built and ready to go. Yes, Marcus, it is. It's called it's called Life in Hell, by the way. That's called Life in Hell. Yep, the crime bill had passed by then. Yeah. Too sober for that comic. Uh, I had a quote: "The Simpsons never predicted anything. We just haven't fixed any problems since then." And I felt that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. Uh, hey, Canada's voted unanimously to label Russia's acts in Ukraine as genocide. Oh. Dude, I kind of want to. Dude, I'm, 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 I'm working on fumes as it is. Um, and I still need to get two workouts in plus food. Oh my god. So we're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking call it easy, easy, easy. Oh, it's not the hottest day of your life. It's the coolest day of the rest of your life. We're gonna raid over to Brooke. Some of you don't know Brooke. I know Brooke. I've known Brooke for quite some time. Um, but I just want to... I, I want to dip out early so I can stay ahead of the curve here. Because like I said, I've, I'm have i running on four hours of sleep. And I still got to like get doubled up workouts. Because I've, I've doubled my, my workout routine. So I need to get some fucking carbs in me. I need to start doing legs. It's going to be a whole fucking thing. So... Is what it is. But we're going to raid over to Brooke. Brooke is playing Hollow Knight, I think. Or Somnife. I don't know what the fuck she's calling herself these days. <laughs> Either way, I know her as Brooke. Um, so, 
<laughs> Thank you, Crix. Um, I have to keep at it to maintain that, though. It's a good game. I also saw, was it, Rogue Legacy 2 coming out soon as well. That's a solid game, too. So, um, yeah, not one I'll, I'll be playing, but, you know, it's a, good, it's a solid roguelite. Yeah, roguelite. Um, so, if y'all are into that sort of thing, check it out. Either way, go say hi to Brooke. Catch y'all later.